Michelle, thanks so much. Well, the Idaho Vandals are coming off a huge upset win over Montana and cracked the top 25 this week. Today, they were looking to remain unbeaten in Big Sky Conference play. We've got Krem 2 Sports Director Travis Green joining us now in the studio today with highlights from today's game. Travis. Hey, Cody. What a time it is to be an Idaho football fan. Ranked 17th in the FCS this week. Today, a home game against Portland State, a matchup the Vandals were heavy favorites to win, but the Vikings had Idaho on an upset alert of sorts early in the game. Both teams would score on their first two drives. Vandals would trail 21-14 with under a minute left in the first half. Final drive of the half here. This is a huge play on fourth and 10. Giovanni McCoy scrambling, needed 10. He gets 13 for the first down. Drive still alive. Next play, just seconds left in the half here. McCoy over the middle for Jermaine Jackson. He puts a quarter in the jukebox and plays take me home tonight. Ball game tied at 21s at half. Second half was a whole new ball game. First Vandals drive, a trick play, halfback pass. Elijah Cummings to quarterback Giovanni McCoy. What can't McCoy do? A little shake and bake. Vandals take their first lead of the game, 28-21. Later in the third, this is the play of the game. McCoy going to go to the, end, the corner of the end zone here for Hayden Hatton. And my goodness, did he just? Yes, he did. One-handed catch and gets the foot in bounds. Hatton, yeah, he's a bad, bad man. Defense doing its job as well. Take a shot. It's Tommy McCormick with an INT, nearly a touchdown here. That would lead to another Vandals score. Idaho scores 42 unanswered points as the defense pitches a second half shutout. Idaho rolls 56 to 21. So the Vandals now sit at 5-2 on the season and 4-0 in conference play. Our Andrew Quinn was in Moscow today for the win. We'll send it out to Mr. Quinn for more on the game. Moscow is partying like it's 1994. The Idaho Vandals are 4-0 in Big Sky Conference play for the first time since 94. And head coach Jason Eck is giving all the credit to his players. How many years ago? None of you guys were alive in 94. <laughs> I was still in high school in 94. Paul and I, I was uh, I was a senior in high school playing my senior year high school football, so that's a long time ago, man. Credit to these players, man. They, they've worked hard and they've believed, and I, I think we're a confident team. That uh, I, I told them this week, I, there, there's no ceiling, I think, what this team could do. Idaho trailed 21-14 towards the end of the first half and had a fourth and nine conversion, which changed the momentum of this game. That was huge, and that was a huge scramble by Giovanni, you know, to get the first down because our initial guys weren't open on it, so that was a really big play. And I tell our players, we want to be aggressive. You know, we're not, we're not playing to keep it closed. We want to be aggressive, and I guess getting that score and then having the ball first to start the second half was really big. The play of the game came later in the second half after Idaho had taken a 28-21 lead. Giovanni McCoy found last week's FCS Player of the Week, Hayden Hatton, for a phenomenal one-handed touchdown catch. You know, we call it easy ups, but you get creative with it, catch a couple back shoulder, catch a couple one-handed. So uh, it felt like a like a practice rep in a sense, you know, like the ball's coming, it's like, oh, go get it, right? <laughs> like nothing else to do but, but catch it. So, yeah. Reaching 5-0 in conference play will be difficult for the Vandals as they now must travel to Sacramento to take on undefeated Sacramento State on Saturday. Kickoff for that game is set for 6 p.m. For now, reporting at the Kibbe Dome in Moscow, Andrew Quinn, Krem2 Sports.